Sebastian lives in a hat. Thelma Catterwell, Kerry Argent. When Sebastian was discovered beside the body of his dead mother on the side of a road, he was just four months old. Near death himself, the tiny wombat was nursed by the author until he reached full maturity and finally returned to the wild. Just how Sebastian's hat came to play such an important part in his life you will learn when you read this delightful book. Sebastian Lives in the Hat was voted Best Children's Book in the 1985 Whiteley Awards given by the Royal Zoological Society of New South Wales and was shortlisted for the 1986 Australian Picture Book of the Year Award. Sebastian Lives in a Hat Written by Thelma Catterwell Illustrated by Kerry Argent Sebastian lives in a hat. It's a brown woolen hat. Sebastian's a pink fuzzy wombat. He won't always be pink and fuzzy. The hat won't always be big enough for him. Sebastian hasn't always lived in a hat. He used to live in a warm, dark place. It was his mother's pouch. Sebastian feels safe in his hat. It is warm and round and soft, just like his mother's pouch. Sebastian's mother was killed by a car. He lay safe in her pouch. He was very frightened when we found him and very, very hungry. We held him close to keep him warm, but he was soon cold. We quickly found him a hot water bottle. We also found his hat. Sometimes Sebastian leaves his hat to search for food. Sebastian can't walk properly yet. He wobbles a lot, then flops on his tummy and crawls. Soon we find him. We put him back in his hat and he has his bottle. Sebastian's mother always kept her pouch clean, so after his feet he has a little job to do. It was warm and damp in the pouch and just right for Sebastian's skin. We have to rub him with oil now so his skin doesn't dry and peel. Sometimes he enjoys that, but not if our hands are cold. Soon he goes back to sleep in his warm woolen hat. Sometimes Sebastian has to change his brown hat for a grey hat. We won't say why, but when the brown hat is dry, Sebastian has it back again and he is happy. Every day Sebastian grows a little bigger and stronger. He has four sharp pointy teeth now and sometimes he likes to try them out. He has strong, sharp claws too, and one day he will use them to dig a burrow for himself. But 
Right now, they're just great for having a scratch. Sebastian's eyes are small and dark and his ears are pink and big. His nose is soft and spotty. When he's big, his eyes and ears and nose will help him find his way in the bush at night. And then he will do what wombats should do. But he may still love his hat. What do you think?